Okay, in about the next 10 videos from here, we're going to spend a fair amount of time looking at ASP.NET controls. Now, one of the new things that's available to us in ASP.NET is a myriad of controls that we can drag onto our web forms and have functionalities like buttons, labels, drop-down boxes, check boxes, and so forth. But what's really neat about ASP.NET is we have so many things to choose from, and we can really handle a lot of issues without doing a whole lot of coding, thanks to the choices that we have. Now, there are three types of controls available to the ASP.NET developer. First, there's the standard HTML controls that we're all familiar with. And, you know, this started back at HTML 1.0 and came up to 3.2 and then to 4.0 and so forth. We can still use all of those on a web page just like before. Nothing has changed there. Next, we have server controls. And the server controls are actually divided into two pieces, and this is where number two and three come in. Now, it's a little confusing, but server controls are divided into HTML controls and web controls. And there's a reason for this. Microsoft wanted to provide similar functionality and make it easy and familiar uh, to the de developers that are out there working. But at the same time, they wanted to add a lot more functionality. So here's what they did. Server controls with those two categories. Uh, there are intrinsic controls, and these are very similar to standard HTML controls with added functionality. Now they look, sound, smell, feel just like regular HTML controls with one difference. We add the uh, run at server designation to them, and they kind of jump into the .NET world. And then there are validation controls, and you're going to love these things. We're going to talk about them a little bit later on. But these provide input validation. One of the things Microsoft looked at with ASP.NET, again, I mentioned it in, in like the opening one or two videos of the course. Microsoft went back to square one and said, wait just a minute now. Let's look at how people are using the Internet, and let's look at how people are developing on the Internet. One of the things that every web page has, almost every web page anyway, is some sort of validation. Because we know that uh, users are going to be inputting information, and we've got to make sure that they're giving us the right information or that they're including all that we need and so forth. And so everybody was writing lines and lines of code for validation. And Microsoft has given us controls that just take care of this uh, almost automatically with very little coding. So you're going to love these things. So what we're going to do over the next few minutes is go through these controls. And I just want to describe them to you and talk to you. And we'll look at a couple of simple examples. Kind of expose you to the different controls that are out there and how you know which control to use where. And I will tell you, Microsoft has a definite bias here. They're trying to push you toward uh, their controls. And that's going to be uh, these two right here, the HTML controls and then the web controls, and especially the web controls. So we'll talk about that in the upcoming videos. And uh, again, we're going to go step by step through these controls and uh, get a lot more familiar with them.